this first Sunday in Lent, a reading uh, from Luke chapter 4, verses 1 to 15. Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, left the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, where for 40 days he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during those days, and at the end of them, he was hungry. The devil said to him, if you are the son of God, tell this stone to become bread. Jesus answered, it is written, man shall not live on bread alone. The devil led him up to a high place and showed him in an instant all the kingdoms of the world. And he said to him, I will give you all their authority and splendor. It has been given to me. And I can give it to anyone I want to. If you worship me, it will all be yours. Jesus answered, it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. The devil led him to Jerusalem and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the son of God, he said, throw yourself down from here. For it is written, he will command his angels concerning you to guard you carefully. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Jesus answered, it is said, do not put the Lord your God to the test. When the devil had finished all this tempting, he left him until an opportune time. Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Spirit, and news about him spread through the whole countryside. He was teaching in their synagogues, and everyone praised him. Uh, Jesus in the wilderness. Today is the first Sunday in Lent. I don't know if you made pancakes for Shrove Tuesday this last Tuesday. I don't know if you're marking Lent in some way this year. Maybe you've given something up or decided to take something on for Lent. Or maybe you've decided you've just had to give up enough uh, lately. Maybe you've decided you have enough on your plate just at the moment. My colleague in Farnham, Michael Hopkins, the URC minister at the Spire Church, made an interesting point on Facebook this week, saying that in our current situation, rather than giving things up or taking things on, we might do better just to be a little kinder to ourselves. Michael's post, I think it was on Ash Wednesday, he said this, he said, I think this is the point where I'm supposed to talk about Lent being a penitential time and time for giving things up. But he said, that seems patent nonsense in 2021. In the last 11 months, we have given up more than we ever wished for longer than any of us would have wanted. We have lost some people and some occasions permanently in a moment of national and community grief. It seems, he said, crass and churlish to suggest that now is a moment for giving up and for penitence. At the best of times, and 2021 is far from the best of times, Michael said, I've always felt that boiling down a spiritual season to give, giving up chocolate or booze is the best example there is of totally missing the point. We run the risk of engaging with Lent by saying, I can suffer like Jesus by giving up chocolate or Facebook or coffee so I can be more like Jesus. Well, he says, no self-deprivation can place us in the same universe with the experience of Jesus, much less in the same room with him. If you think you need to give up chocolate or Facebook or booze or coffee, by all means, give them up. But don't do it for 40 days and then take them up again, thinking it will somehow make you better or earn God's pleasure. Uh, Michael went on, it's often said that taking something up is more positive and generally a very good thing. But again, he says, if it's only for 40 days, what's the point? Michael says that even determining to take something new up this Lent might not have the same benefit for us as it does most years, when life has become for many such a struggle. He says, by Lent 2021, many of us are bruised and fragile. If you haven't decided to give something up or take something on this Lent, maybe that's just as well. But perhaps one thing you could do is choose to do something each day that will simply help you to love yourself more. He says, this Lent 
Instead of giving something up or determining to try harder to be or do good, why not love yourself through Lent? So on the on the screen is a is a picture, a sort of postcard. Love yourself through Lent. 40 activities that we could, if you wish, do one a day. Uh, I'm not sure it's going to help you enter the testing of Jesus, but it might help you to be. Uh, it might ha just help you to get through this particular Lent. Let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Uh, the next uh, hymn, the next song that Peter and Christine have picked for us is Behold the Lord upon his throne. <laughs> 